I'm Mackenzie Gray. I was born in November 1957 in Toronto, Canada, and I am an actor. My idea of perfect happiness. If there is such a thing as perfect happiness, I suppose that it would be for me to be creating and writing and acting and producing my own films with my beautiful wife by my side in a lovely large home and um, not needing any of those things because then I'd be happy. My greatest fear is probably um, a, a violent death that I know is about to happen. I think that uh, death itself probably is a great adventure and I'm not sure what it brings but I think to be honest um, to, to have a violent death that I know is about to happen would be my greatest fear. The living person I most admire, I think, is my mother. She's an extraordinary woman who has, speaks five languages and has uh, led a wild and vibrant and extraordinary life and um, continues to dazzle me and amaze me and I, I admire her beyond words. And the dead person I most admire would be John Lennon. He was a huge influence on me and remains to this day my sort of favorite person uh, that I can think of. The characteristic I most dislike in myself is impatience. The characteristic I most dislike in other people is hypocrisy or two-facedness. I like people that are honest even if they don't agree with you or they have a different way of wanting to go. I appreciate straight up honesty and so I really hate when they're not. I am excessive in my life about detail. I, I need, for some reason, I think I need, I really don't, but I think I need detail about things. I love going into finding out the who, what, where, when, and why of things. And often it's not necessary, or it's just simpler if you don't know. So I would say I'm excessive about detail, especially when it's situations that I don't fully understand. I think the most overrated virtue is virginity. Okay, I'm just kidding, really. Um, I think, actually, but it's related to that. I think the, the idea of virtue itself is an overrated virtue. I think that conservatism creeping in, especially in the United States, about, about being proper and not having you know, sex and not being sexual and, and, not, and being straight and narrow, and I think that that is overrated, that there are many vices that are virtues. So let them all live. I lie when I'm trying to save a situation, not my own skin, but I think there is such a thing as Ibsen once wrote of the saving lie, where sometimes you tell a lie to preserve someone's feelings or to, to because the truth would be too brutal for them. And in those cases, I think lying is all right, if, as long as it's not something that you have to maintain and, and, be, and make into a truth. So uh, I lie when I think it will protect somebody and when I'm late for auditions. If I could live anywhere in the world, if I, where would I love to live? I love living in the big, great old cities like London, Paris, New York is less old but still in that league. I've always loved living in those cities and I love, but I don't want to be there broke or poor or struggling. Uh, to be there with means is the best. If I could have any talent, uh, it would be to play the piano properly. Um, it's an instrument, I, I play many instruments and I would love to be able to properly play the piano. I can do things like this, I, this is very difficult for me and I've always admired piano players. I think what challenges me the most is conforming to a, f a form. Um, when I'm approaching a role, I always try and think of how I can do it differently or what I can bring to it. And sometimes you must just do it the way it's meant to be, you know. And, and the same with anything when I'm on boards of directors, when I'm in, in situations, even teaching, whatever I do, um, sticking to form is very difficult for me. It challenges me to have to stick to form. I like to be kind of free form and try new things. So that I find very challenging. I get the most satisfaction from realizing my creativity. So if I'm acting, writing, directing, making music, whatever creative form I'm taking uh, or expressing, uh, that's when I get the most satisfaction, is doing that and doing it fully. I think if I could have another career, it would be to be a rock star. I, I mean, I've, I've played music in bands and so on, but it totally suits my temperament, my inner 
crazy person. And uh, and I think it's also it's a it, it reaches a lot of people and it's big and it's large and it's and it's passionate. And um, I think that would have been a good that would have worked for me. If I were allowed to come back, um, I think I would come back as a dog. I think I have a lot to learn about just relaxing and being happy and keeping it simple. So I think I'd come back as a dog. If the gods decided based on my karma, I mean, they already have. This is my fourth time here as me. I mean, I'm just not getting it. You know, really, they, they're just saying, come on, learn the lesson here and now. So. I think next time they've given, they'll give up and send me back as a dog. The best form of relaxation for me is reading or playing guitar and making music. I also like to walk my dogs, so if I could walk my dogs, read the paper and play some music, it would be a perfectly relaxing day. The top thing on my lifetime to-do list, I think, is to be a father. I really i am looking forward to having children. And I think that there is nothing more challenging nor more rewarding in life than to do that. My most treasured possession, one is a, a small horse, ceramic horse, ashtray, which was given to me when I was a boy and I hated getting a haircut and the barber, who's been a lifelong family friend, gave me a horse to stop me from crying during the, the haircut. And as I grew older, I didn't need it anymore. And so he said, when I it was in my teens, he said, I'll save this for your wedding night because I know you'll be scared. And you know, many, many years later, when I got married, he had it delivered to my wedding and given to me on my wedding night. And I have a very special place for it um, in my heart. So that's one of my most treasured possessions. I most like when people are laughing and warm and easygoing about things and have energy. I like collective energy. I like when it's good, positive. My present state of mind is one of a bit of anxious um, acceptance. I'm trying to stay in a place of surrender because I know there's big things in the offing and there's lots of things about to happen and I have to let them happen. My motto is to laugh in the face of life and I think it's to be not so serious, to laugh, find humor, share humor, we share a laugh, we're all one and it takes all the pain away, so keep smiling.